And good afternoon and welcome into Carolina's Family at Four. I'm Amy Wood. And I'm Ben Hoover. Thanks so much for being with us today. It's Friday and yes. it feels like Friday and today. it's so nice out. It's it cold is. for it sure. Is cold. But after all the dreary weather we've been experiencing, yes. it's nice to kind of get past that mess we had yesterday and move on ahead. It is. Lots of sun, but definitely coat weather. Don't yeah. take your fashion cue from me. Take it from Amy. <laughs> Aren't you, you cold? You need a winter coat. Yeah, it's chilly out. Yeah, it for is. sure. Well, if you have not celebrated Mardi Gras yet, well, get ready because our seven cam shot is coming from the Swamp Rabbit Cafe, and they have quite the king cake ready for you. Saturday, they're having a Mardi Gras party featuring the Greenville Jazz Collective. You can check out their Instagram. They have all the details there, but man, that cake looks good. And you I, like king cake, don't uh, you? Let me tell you, I have not had their king cake, but I've had their other stuff. Yeah. So based off of that, mm -hmm. I bet their king cake's fabulous. Yeah, they're pretty good at baking things yes, over there. So bit, we'll bit. have to see what, what happens with the king cake. But let's talk about the show. We have a lot on the way today. We're going to start off showing you something that is live and happening right now outside the 7 on Main Studios. Check out these young ladies waving right now. They are ready to sell you some cookies. These are the Girl Scouts, and the booth sales are underway. In fact, there's a booth right here at 7 on Main ready to give you your Thin Mints or whatever else you love as the Girl Scouts booth sales begin. Yes, lots of cute faces, but they mean business people, absolutely. <laughs> and now that the weather's cleared up, it's time to gather Greenville. The new hot spot heads into the first weekend, and we've got the Dreamers who created it with us live today. Also, we're going to check in with the United Way of the Piedmont to see how they're using all that money that Carolina's family got together and raised for those who've been impacted by the tornado and other storm-related damage in the upstate of South Carolina. Now, let's get over to the most important equation of this weekend, the which weekend is weather. weather. Yeah. yeah. Let's check in with Dan Bickford. He is in Spartanburg with a check on this forecast. Hey, Dan. Yeah, nice to see the sunshine finally, yeah, isn't it? right? Yeah, we've had a hard time stringing together multiple days all winter long of sunshine. We're going to get through this whole weekend, I think, in pretty good shape before we do get some weather changes down the road. Of course, Live Doppler was a lot busier yesterday with rain, with sleet, with snow. All gone. The clouds have left. We'll be mostly clear as we go through the night tonight. Now, temperatures have been chilly. Tacoma, we're up to 50 degrees, but it's mainly mid and upper 40s across the rest of the area. 48 right now in Greenville downtown. Same with Anderson and Elberton. 45 in Spartanburg up towards Rutherford. And it's upper 30s to lower 40s in the mountains outside Franklin where it's up to 47. Been a little breezy. We've seen winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour.